High atop Mustang Stadium after Stevenson pulls off the comeback, wins 13-12 in double overtime tonight over the number 13 Stevens Ducks. Glenn Clark, Peter Green now joined by the head coach of the Mustangs, Coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, we were talking in the uh, postgame about uh, what went on in the early portion of the season and you guys playing four games that were one or two goal games that didn't go your way against great opponents. How much did your team learn from those games they were able to translate tonight to pull this off? Well, I think we learned a lot from them. You know, we've been in a lot of big games. We played some of the best teams in the country week in and week out so you know the situations uh, we've been in uh, didn't really affect us you know we got, I think we always knew that we were going to make some type of run uh, I didn't know we we're going to make that big of a run but I think we made some type of run and uh, I think they did a great job you know all those things Ethan especially to score that goal because you know he had that uh, unfortunate shot in the Gettysburg game that kind of cost us there and I think he's learning a lot but you know the changes we made and this, these guys really showed a gut check Sam uh, Sam Ross in the second half he was really not good in the first half he apologized to me actually in the locker room but uh, for his play but he played so much better in the second half and gave us an opportunity, and I think the, uh, how we changed our defense to go with the two shutoffs and let our poles play them, caused them a lot of problems, and uh, and they fouled us a lot. I think they gave us some life. They had a lot of fouls. They're, they're, they're crushing us a little bit, and uh, we were getting some calls. Our man-up has to be better than 2 of 10, though, but uh, I think it's a really good win for us because the guys, you know, we, they play so hard. You know, and they're giving them everything they had. They're diving all over the field, doing a great job, and uh, and Justin, you know, the way he faced off today uh, gave us a shot. So, you know, we made a big change at halftime for every face-off. We wanted to go two shorts because we know we're going to get it. They were kind of riding us a little bit, and we did a great job, and I think that really turned it around for us, getting those easy possessions time again and wearing their defense down. They had to go to a little zone and with that, but they played hard. You know, They were there, and they, uh, and they did a good job, and they got up on us, but I'm proud of what our guys did and how hard they played and got back into it. Coach, defense only gave up three goals in the second half. Was there a tactical change, or is it more so execution? Well, I think we changed some things. You know, we had to take Tom off of 13, and Tom wasn't playing him. He was, he was being real lazy, and I told him that. And uh, But, um, you know, and so we put Howard on him. They changed, and then uh, they were just kind of running by us, and we weren't really doing some good jobs. So we thought we had to shut two guys with their poles, two short sticks, and let our poles play the other guys. And I think that changed it up a lot because those other guys weren't able to run by us. And 13's a good player, and their midi was good. And we pulled everybody else and shut, and shut those two guys. I think things changed. They really struggled to get offense and quality shots, and uh, we did a good job with that. And, uh, and Sam started seeing the ball better and helped us. And uh, so th- that tackle to change right there and the two short sticks on the wings of the faceoff, I think, really helped us get extra shots. And I thought offensively, even though we only had four goals at the half, I thought we had great opportunities. You know, and their goalie played really well and got some big shots, and we were in there. So I thought we were getting some good opportunities. It's just that we weren't putting them away. And, you're, and we weren't getting any second chances because he was saving them. No rebounds. They were going the other way. So And they were missing the cage a little bit and getting multiple shots. And so that was kind of the big change for us. I think the defensive tactics uh, changed a lot for us there. So much of what you've been talking about is X's and O's, and it's it's important. But I feel like heart is something that we should talk more about because I feel like coming away from this, there's got to be something to be said about the heart of this team. Well, we challenged them. You know, we challenged them at halftime. I didn't think that was our team. I didn't like the way we played. I thought I was really disappointed with what we're doing, the mistakes we made, the drop passes, the turnovers. Um, that's not that's not how you play lacrosse. I thought it was a really bad effort by us in that half, just how we played overall, and I thought the mentality, the ground ball play wasn't good. And uh, we challenged them a little bit, and they came out flying. You know, we got the two goals right away, and I think that. We had some other opportunities, and they canned a few shots. But and then they, they really showed the heart and how hard they played and how much it means to them. I think this, it means a lot to this group. So that's a big win off of a very quality team that's beating a lot of teams and scoring a ton of goals against a lot of teams, and uh, that's a good win for us. No doubt about that. And you continue it Saturday. Another tough one. Go on the road in a place you played a lot of great games over the years. <laughs> Every Saturday. time you go to Lynchburg, it's a great game. So it's Friday night down there. We have to travel down that day. And uh, uh, they're desperate, too. They're going to give us a wing. They've lost a tough, couple tough ones, but they played a hell of a schedule like we have. And so they're a really good team. And we're going to have to play one of our best efforts in four quarters, not two, in order to win the game. Coach, congratulations on a special one tonight. And thanks for coming up and chatting with us. <laughs> thanks a lot. It was fun. He was Coach Paul Cantabana.